Hi Trader, welcome to the weekly Forex video brought to you by Admiral Markets. My name is Chris and I'm focusing on the Euro Dollar, Cable and Dollar Yen. First note though, that this video is shown to a global audience, may not be suitable for everyone. Please select your country of residence and contact the appropriate entity to find out if it is suitable for you. Also please note that trading for exchange and global financial markets is considered higher risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. By continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. First of all, the dollar yen. This could be a pullback or, of course, a reversal potential. Uh, for me, both are still possible. I'm going to keep an eye on price action to see which one of those two seems to be playing out. For the moment, though, price is challenging the pivot point. So if this four hour candle closes near the low with the bearish candle, I think there is a decent chance of a continuation. I would zoom in to lower time frames, look for a bit of a pullback and a continuation down to the weekly S1 and the challenge of this bottom uh, here at 109.10, 109.25 area and the Keltner pivot point as well. So there's a confluence between the Admiral pivot points and the Admiral Keltner, all or both part of the Mediterranean Force Supreme Edition, a software package with a lot of indicators and extra tools like this mini terminal so this is the space i think that is possible to trade from my view uh to the downside on the dollar yen so let me put there a bit of a red box there so you know what zone i'm talking about it's going to be interesting to see though how price responds to the s1 because it could be a bouncing spot for move up to the r1 i think that is actually the most likely at this moment so i'll be interested in bullish candlestick patterns at the s1 using this bottom to bounce up to the r1 as the main target perhaps even an extension to higher uh, admiral pivot point, uh, of course, as possible throughout the week. From a daily perspective, though, if it does break below the S1, then I think there's a good chance for price to challenge the 88.6 fib, and it could continue lower, and if it breaks 88.6 fib, even the bottom, of course. So uh, that depends on how price reacts to the S1. If it's a bounce, you know my target. If it's a break, then I'm looking for price to go to the 88.6 fib at 108.75, which in itself could again be a bounce or break spot so that's basically how i'm approaching this dollar yen uh it's from my perspective is at support level could turn around but it is also showing a downtrend motion so i am carefully measuring price action and seeing you know which is more likely an upside or downside at critical decision zones i just indicated which decision zones are critical in my opinion if price were to break above the r2 r3 maybe next week then in that case you know, the 78.6 fib bounce here could lead to even a, a larger turnaround up to the 272 target, the minus 272 target. But that's something more probably for next week. I'll dive into uh, basically the euro dollar, of course, and the pound dollar in just a second. These webinars, though, I wanted to make you aware of. Session recap with Nenet, live trading session with Nenet, also trading with myself, entry and exits, candlestick and fib patterns, and also an educational webinar on Thursday taking a look at timing patterns. So hope to see you in one or all of these webinars soon. Next on the list is the year dollar basically still stuck between 113 resistance right here, but also not making a lot of move down, uh, not able to break really substantially below the 112. So it's kind of going sideways here, pretty nasty, uh, on the least on the four hour chart, pretty long, lengthy consolidation zone. So we're gonna have to see how price responds when it gets up to probably the R1. Is it going to be a break or bounce spot? For the moment, price has broken above the weekly pivot point. So I think that, th sorry, there is a good chance for price to maybe make a small retracement up down to uh, 112, then bounce up to 112.70, which in turn could be a bouncing spot again to the downside. I myself personally am not really a big fan of trading it in between 112, 113 at the moment. What I would like to see is price break below the S1 and head down to the S3 or break above basically 113 and then head up to uh, probably uh, 114, all right? So that's what I'm waiting for is a break of this bottom or a break of this top. Uh, sorry, the other way around, red here and blue here. So that's what I'm really waiting for on the euro dollar. But I would, I would be slightly tempted to look if there is some bearish candlestick pattern at the R12 for a bigger reversal on the euro dollar. Last but not least, the cable, of course, after last week's elections, price tumbling lower, uh, in fact, because the conservatives were not able to secure a majority. 
So we'll have to see. There was a bearish impact on the pound dollar in any case. And you can see that price after this kind of rising wedge falling to the downside below the pivot point now, below the weekly pivot point. So I think that more downside is possible. Um, I think that, to, you know, the fib that maybe is best to keep an eye on is this one. And uh, would not expect price to break above that top because if it does, that invalidates my bearish outlook for the moment. And uh, I would expect price to probably stay below the R1, obviously. Uh, that could be a good zone to look at, but maybe even uh, these fibs itself themselves right here, but shallower fibs, I mean. So let's see, uh, even on the four hour chart, actually, a bearish candle just closed. I might wait for one more candle or so. Let's see, three, six. Uh, I might wait for slightly bigger correction here first before trading it, but it could be that the hourly is already ready, in fact. So if that's the case, what I would like to see is some good push here. Uh, a bear flag and then a break of that bear flag sorry something like this uh, and um, then a break of that breakout below that uh, support trend line for more downside like that that would be an alternative so if price does not retrace deeper for the moment i'm waiting for price to go sideways and then break or price to retrace higher and then bounce back down so i'm definitely bearish alternatively if it just keeps pushing like this i'll wait for a bear flag a smaller one Maybe on this hourly chart, maybe 30 minute chart, wait for a break of that. And I would expect one more lower low at least, uh, you know, somewhere at the S1 or minus 272 target, 125.40, 125 round level uh, before price might make a correction again. So that's what I'm waiting for on the pound USD for the moment. All right. So that's my outlook for the three currencies. This is what I'm keeping an eye on. But if you want to see some updates, of course, feel free to join Tuesday, Wednesday. We're taking a look at the live markets again and seeing how the, the charts have updated. And I'm going to update my own plan as well. You can check that out at admiralmarkets.com. Of course, you can also find recordings on YouTube, past webinars, and of course, new updates, analytics on the website and Facebook as well. Wish you all great trading. Talk to you soon. Cheers.